Hello and welcome back to Faith at Home series as we continue to support and encourage families to explore faith together at home. Whether you are a parent, carer, grandparent, godparent, anyone who is at home with children, Faith at Home will bring you practical ideas to try together as we all look for more opportunities to pray and to talk about God and faith at home. Faith at Home is about finding God together in the everyday parts of life. These videos will help you notice this God of love who is always with us. Each week, we will be exploring a different theme together to help us do this. And this week, we'll be looking at love. Much more than movie love. Or love song love. We are talking this week about agape love. The love that defines who God is. The love that flows from Him through us into the world. Now here are some really interesting thoughts on love from the younger generation. Love is different things to different people and a person can feel and express love in lots of different ways. Love is kindness and caring for other people. Love is playing with friends and family. I live and care deeply for my family and friends, but I also love football and chips. Love is a feeling that we can all share. Love is what we feel when we make somebody happy. Love is a powerful emotion. We have deep feelings of joy and happiness regarding somebody or something. Love is what makes us take care of each other. Love is what gives us hope. Love is to look out for one another when they feel sad, scared or isolated, just like you all want to be looked out for when you feel down or alone. Love can bring sadness, but love is also something that can give you incredible strength in a time of need. Love is everything. Christians believe that God loves us all. So we can talk to God anywhere. About anything. At any time. As you begin to pray, remind yourself that you are loved. Think of a person. Find a crow. Draw something to remind you that you are loved. Pray to God to help you notice ways you could love others. Perhaps the way you appreciate being shown love is different to theirs. Lord God, thank you that you first love us. Help me to love you. Soul, mind, and strength. Help me to love others as you love me. Help me to communicate your love to others this week by my actions and my words. In Jesus' name. Amen. The idea of love is all around us. And it's a wonderful way to start an interesting conversation with the children in your household. So, what does love mean for you? And how could you open up the conversation with your children? These sorts of conversations can feel tricky, but they're really not. Being natural about talking about these things is one of the easiest things we can do. All it takes is some space and some good questions. So find a space in the day, perhaps when a love song comes on, when you're listening to music or when you're watching your favorite family rom-com and ask one of these three conversation starting questions. What does love look like in films? How do we show love in our household? How could God be part of how we show love to other people? So give one of those questions a go. It may start a huge conversation or just a small answer, but all conversation is so beneficial to our children. Now you could also use a Bible story to keep the conversation flowing, especially one that stirs up good questions, like the prodigal son who took all his inheritance and spent it, having prepared his speech, begging for his father's forgiveness, he decides to head home. 
So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. There will be more practical ideas on our Faith at Home website, particularly from Prayer Spaces in Schools and HeartSmart. We are delighted to hand over to Dave from HeartSmart to talk about what they do. Hello, I'm Dave. My name's Boris the Robot. And we're here from Boris's Shed. And we're here from an organisation called HeartSmart, which is it's a resource for schools, but actually, do you know what? It's a resource for kids. And so that's why we've made it available for you guys at home. We have five key HeartSmart values. We say don't forget to let love in, which is all about understanding you're important and loved, isn't it, Boris? Yes, everyone is important. Exactly. Uh, we also say too much selfie isn't healthy, and that's about recognising that there's someone else in the room that they're also loved and important. We say don't hold on to what's wrong. What's that about, Boris? That, that is all about forgiveness. Exactly. Forgiveness is a gift for yourself as well as for other people. It means you can keep making powerful choices in the future knowing you've dealt with the past. Fake is a mistake is the fourth heart smart value. And then the last one is no way through isn't true. What's that all about, Boris? It does what it says on the tin. <laughs> it does what it says on the tin. It just means that you just keep being able to have hope and keep looking to the future and keep uh, choosing to find a way through. So um, we've made all these resources available to you to be able to do stuff at home. Just head to www.heartsmart.family. Uh, there's lots of games, films, activities, and we really hope to see you there, don't we, Boris? Yeah, we look forward to seeing you there. Finally, we'd like to leave you with another way of being together in love. Portsmouth Cathedral Choir have recorded this beautiful piece called He Is Risen, celebrating the power of God's love. It may not be your usual type of music, but try it and have a listen. You might want to gather your family together, listen together, and ask these questions to talk about it. What is the choir expressing? What does it make you think or feel about God? And what did you feel as you listened? Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time on Faith at Home. May you know and share God's love this week and always. As director of the Choir Church Project in Portsmouth, this piece is very dear to my heart as it allows us to celebrate God's love using the same notes, slightly rearranged, in a cathedral setting and also in our school setting.